Hello guys, welcome to another video, and today I'm going to be trying out Dungeons & Dragons Online. Now, I've been playing around with this game for the last week or so, and I've been really enjoying it. It has a very, very in-depth character creation, which I can show you later on, but to be honest, I don't like to spend that much time on the character creation because I actually find it kind of boring to watch, so probably later when we've jumped into the world, I'll show you my character creation sheet. This game is based on the third edition of Dungeons & Dragons, uh, the pen and paper uh, edition. And it tries to kind of follow the book as much as possible while still being an action MMORPG. And uh, this is definitely not a WoW clone from my experience. And it's very, it's a very instanced MMO, which can be a good thing. And, but, you know, there's a little bit of negative stigma when you're, you're comparing that with like Eastern MMOs. But I think with this, it actually works. Um, you know, when you're playing this, you're not exploring giant, uh, giant open world. It's not that kind of game. This game is more to experiment with your different builds, and and there's the the class has the classes have quite a lot of variety in this game, and that's kind of the selling point of the game is to experiment. You can make really bad characters with bad character builds, and you know, you can do that. The, all, all the, some of the classes are, you know, more overpowered than others, but that's kind of just how Dungeons & Dragons is. Uh, so without further ado, I'm going to start off with a kind of the intro cinematic, and then we'll get into the gameplay. I'm not going to, like I said, I'm not going to, I've already created my character, and I'll, I'll show you some of the stats that I've been kind of using. I've, I've basically been plagiarizing um, builds from online because... I'm not a very experienced with Dungeons & Dragons, so I need a little bit of hand-holding to get me through uh, character creation and, and, and actually building a character that, that might be potentially uh, viable in the long term. So uh, without further ado, let's start the intro cinematic, and then we'll begin playing the game. So here we go. I served in the last war. I dealt in death. It was all I knew. But with the war now ended and my home destroyed, I cast my eyes to the horizon and the city of Stormreach. With tales of danger and endless riches, it called to someone like me. A warrior, a mercenary, an adventurer, a lost soul. This time, fortune smiled upon me, for I have found many like myself, heroes from the far corners of the world, dealers of death, life, courage. We charge into the abyss, searching for the ultimate reward. Setting steel and magic against impossible foes. <laughs> And each time I wonder, will this adventure be my last? storms gather on the horizon. Evil rises from the waters of despair and misery. An ancient and terrible curse is upon us. So there we go. So here we are, we have a uh, level one paladin and we are good to go. Let's begin. All right. It's taking a little bit of time to load in. Can you talk? There we go. Speak to me. 
All right. Can you talk? Yeah. yeah Speak yeah. to me. Hoy. Were you on the ship that got attacked by the dragon? You're the first survivor I've found, and sailors been washing up for hours. Are you looking for survivors or looting bodies? Now don't go blaming a poor rogue for making a living. Besides, I didn't take nothing from you. You got nothing worth taking. Yes, I seem to have misplaced my belongings. It's right dangerous to walk around without a blade. For my good deed of the day, I can give you something back at my camp. All right, if we lead the way. What the said was true. No one but you made it to the island the alive. Up here. It may be worth Follow following me. this rogue. For now. This way. Follow me. Here we are. So, you want a weapon or not? Yeah, I'll go for a weapon. I'll take the great axe. Go ahead, give it a few swings. Alright, we'll open up our inventory and equip As you our take weapon. Hold of the weapon, feeling its balance. You can't help but notice this Jeets has more he wants to say. Ooh, look it. Got some extra coins. Now, with this game you do a lot of left clicking which basically powers your basic attack and then you do have some tab targeting in the game but it's mo it's not really tab targeting because you're you do have to aim at the enemies when you are using your skills so it's it's yeah it's more action oriented i would say uh so without further ado let's get rid of all this Next video, I'm going to start my UI out a little bit more off camera. Um, but without further ado, uh, so speak to him. So, what weapon suits you? So, ready to help me out? Or that weapon suits you? So, ready to help me out? What task do you have for me? Here's a deal Salimus is waiting for us in a cave up in the path. Go and tell her we'll be along shortly, just as soon as we finish with all the salvage on the beach. That's it? Give a message to this Salimus? Well, I'm sure Salimus would appreciate any help you can give her, too. And it'll make her less likely to smash my noggin in when I catch up. Very well, I'll go to this cave and help her. Salimus is at the grotto. Tell her to keep her knickers on. Salimus is in the grotto. Cool. I shall show you the way. Now, a lot of simple loot can be dropped in crates. Uh, most monsters don't actually drop loot. Most loot is gained through either crate you drops. Can smash open these crates and take what you need. Or uh, chests. There are different chests you can find in dungeons. Uh, so that's usually where you get most of your loot from my experience, which is not that much, but... Tell me, was it exciting to see a dragon up close? Uh, so we've basically been shipwrecked on this island. And here we are. Go inside and I guess we were attacked by some sort of dragon. I'll wait here for Jeets. <laughs> okay. All right, so this is kind of our first dungeon. It's a tutorial dungeon, and um, if you're a free-to-play player, you basically have to run the dungeons from normal to hard. Uh, to, you have to repeat them three times, at least, uh, to get to elite. So normal, hard. You have to do each level at least once, uh, starting from normal. But this is just an intro, so we got a solo dungeon. Uh, most dungeons. In this game, you can group up with other people, because why wouldn't you be able to do that? It's Dungeons and Dragons. So, um, and then Reaper is like kind of like a hardcore mode that you can do, and usually that requires uh, more people than just one person to do. Um, and so it, it depends on your class, because some classes have a harder time than others. Uh, 
from uh, the research that I've kind of done going into this game. So I'm going to get rid of all these tutorial things and let's enter the grotto, shall we? Right, here we are. Is this Salimus, the cleric you were sent to find? Kyber, are you? I am the Paladin Travian. A dragon attacked my ship, and I alone survived. I then met your companions, who asked me to protect you until they arrive. Until they arrive? Is Jeet still sifting through the wreckage? I'll wring his little throat until his thr tongue falls out. If you're willing to help me, I don't fancy waiting around for those idiots anymore. What exactly are you doing in these caves? I've been hired to clear this cave of Sahagan. Jeets and Talbron are supposed to help me. I hope they don't tarry too long. If you come with me, you should be comfortable with Sahagan blood all over that rusty weapon of yours. What are, what's a Sahagan? They're ugly, scaly, slimy, and they like to sacrifice innocence to their dark devourer god. For these reasons, I am eager to smite them. Right, all right, I'm ready, let's go. First, I shall surround us with a protection spell. Her spell temporarily prevents you from dying, though you can still suffer injuries. This effect will wear off when you leave these caves. Now, let's be about it. Tutorial dungeon stuff. <laughs> a gate. There must be a way to open it. Try up that ladder. I'll remain here and bash any Sawagan trying to sneak out. The cool thing about this game is you can. There is an actual climbing mechanic. You hear the shuffling and wheezing of some creature coming from the corridor ahead. The corroded lever at the rear of this corridor most likely controls the gate where the cleric, Salimus, is waiting. All right. Now because this is a tutorial dungeon, they kind of hold your hand through this. Um, usually the dungeon master is not this descriptive. As the game goes on, they kind of become... Uh, well, they don't say as much as the game goes on, uh, goes on, but for the first couple of dungeons, they're a lot more descriptive. And yeah, and it's basically to hold your hand so you kind of get a feel of the game. So let's activate this lever here. Good job, but no time to dawdle. We come to assist you. Onward to glory. Salimus isn't too honked at me. Thanks for putting in the good word. Don't you worry, Salimus. I'm here to watch your behind now. Little rascal. The evil aura is oppressive. Sawagan are behind this door. I'll take point. Talbron, cover me with your spells. Jeets, kill anything that tries to flank us. You, open the door. Charge! What, it's empty? Oi, where's the bloody Sawagan? Look, the door closed behind us. It would be logical to assume. Trap! <laughs> There are more of them up there. Stay alert. Purge the wicked! So 
Bogan wretches, are you scared of me? Come down and fight! For the flame! Such is the fate of evil. Now, let's find a way out of here. Can't pick this. Anyone see a key? I'm curious. I just stepped on something. Good work! I see a key down there. Who's up for a swim? Hydrophobia mean anything to you? No, I don't have rabies. <laughs> okay. So this kind of introduces this swimming mechanic here, and we need to go look for a key. Which is right here. Come on, pick it up. There we go. You grab the silver key. Time to swim for the surface. I knew you'd come in, Andy. This way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Let's unlock the exit, shall we? I'm weary. Let's take a moment to rest. Ha! I still got plenty of stamina. I can go all night long. Why don't you scout ahead then? Just don't get yourself in trouble. Now you're talking. I'll take a little peek. So, uh... Basically, this is the resting mechanic here. And you can click on this if you're low on health. Uh, most of the dungeons... Well, I think as, as you continue on, there's less and less of these. But basically, because this is, you know, a real... A real... Everything is in real time. You can't have a normal resting mechanic where, you know, you rest for a certain amount of hours. Uh, so they have these shrines you can kind of uh, link to, and well, I can just show you here. I'll have a rest. I've only lost one hit point, but um, and basically it'll regenerate your health. And but these have cooldowns, so you can't just come back here all the time. If you're done resting, go. You've got to use these wisely. Jeez. Crikey. All right, so because he's the rogue, I am not a rogue. So now I might be, I might have enough intelligence. Yes, so I can actually see where the trap uh, device is. This, and let's see if I can pick it. No, I can't. So, uh, I'm gonna have to talk to Cheats here, and he's gonna have to pick the lock for us, since he is a rogue. So, only blokes with rogue skills can deal with traps. Blokes like me. Don't you worry. If you really want to, you can find a trainer to teach you rogue abilities. Once you've got enough experience to handle it, that is. Alright. So he's gonna unlock the trap. Now we can it was no match for yours truly. make you our way through. Now. Here we go. You two having fun? It's time for us to go. The high priestess should be up ahead. The onus for much suffering rests squarely upon her slimy webbed hands. There she is. Performing some kind of profane blood magic. I will open the door. Prepare yourself. Ready? Go! Employer, there's a secret passage around here somewhere leading to Corthos.
Let Salimus do her thing. You and I'll take care of the important stuff. The treasure. Alright, now this is kind of where most of the important loot comes from. These chests that you'll find all over the different dungeons uh, throughout the world, and throughout the gaming world. So, uh, what do we want? We, we got a breastplate, a shield, a ring. I think the breastplate is our current best bet at the moment. We can press I to access our inventory. And we can equip that. And I'm also going to create another toolbar here. <clears throat> and yeah, I've, I've basically just been swinging around. I haven't been really paying attention to uh, my skills down here. But those are our kind of common attack skills as far as, and also we've got, what is this, Smite Evil. Uh, but we only that has a limited number of uses. A lot of the skills in this game have a limited number of uses and are based on you know you can regenerate the skills by resting. Uh, we're not really a sneaky character, so I'm going to move that off. We're not going to use defensive fighting most of the time. We're going to be using power attack mainly. Um, and then that's a ranged smite evil, which I'm basically going to be playing a melee character, so. And we've got a healing skill. Uh, so, yeah, I think... Ooh, let's drag that over as well, because that's just kind of something I'll be leaving on in the background. And we've got some healing potions as well, so we can heal up if we need to. But I think we're going to be fine here. Uh, so we're all set to go. My rogue senses are tingling. There's something fishy in this room. Try searching around. You feel a stiff draft from somewhere in this room. Perhaps the hidden passage to the village is in here. Now, my character is not that great at searching, but I'm pretty sure I'll pass the check here because, again, we're still in the tutorial. So, we'll use the searching mechanic. Found the secret passage? There we go. Go on, open it then. And then... Here we go. Brilliant. We've got an Tidy exit. Lashes and pints up the wazoo. Here I come. We're almost done here. The way out is up ahead. But first, I want to reward you for your assistance. Please come speak with me. Okay. We've made it, Trav Travian. Travian. We've made it, Travian. The door ahead should take us out to the village. But before we go, I want to give you something from my stash, and thanks for your assistance to me and my fellows this day. Oh, thank you very much, Lady Veloon. Veloon, Lady Veloon. Ha ha! Call me Salimus. May you always walk the righteous path, Tarion, and the holy flame look kindly upon your days and deeds. And to you, brave cleric. Okay. And we're going to take the great axe because I'm kind of going for a two handed build here. So let's take that. All right. So we have completed our first dungeon here. And exit, 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 exit. Right. So I think now that we've done the fun part, I'll do the bit boring part where I can show you my character sheet. So basically, when you start off character creation, you got to obviously put in your stats. So this is my stats as the paladin here and I'm following a build from online which is gonna is kind of be a high damage paladin build uh, with some defensive s uh, skills thrown in there as well and here's all our skills we got balance concentration heal jump tumble all these skills that you can assign points into um, so this kind of just gives you an idea of the complexity of character creation right here. And then we've also got feats, um, basic feats. Uh, the ones that are in the hexagonal or octagonal, is that octagonal? Yeah, octagonal shapes are passives and then the squares, um, the squares are active, um, active skills. 
So then we've got spells. I don't have any spells at the moment. I believe I can get spells later on, but uh, enchantment and crafting. I have not explored crafting in this game, so I cannot tell you anything about this. But uh, maybe we'll figure about, figure out about that <laughs> sometime later. So. I think I covered everything I wanted to cover in this video, so let's, uh, let's exit the dungeon, shall we? So here's our first village. Stepping out of the grotto, you find yourself in Corthos Village. The Sahuagin have threatened this place for generations. Judging from how it looks now, the Sahuagin are winning. However, some hopeful souls still hold out for help to arrive. Alright, so that's going to be in this video. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time as we continue uh, exploring Dungeons & Dragons Online. Now, one thing I do want to mention is I'm going to be mainly focusing on all the dungeons, so I'm not going to be showing a lot of, you know, boring stuff. Uh, where, you know, I'm, I don't know, selling, bartering items or uh, I'm, or assigning attribute points and all that stuff. I'm going to be doing most of that off camera and I'll just be doing them dungeons uh, as the Let's Play going, going here, uh, going forwards. So I will see you next time. Take care.